President Obama Monday announced his plan to tackle what he said is a key challenge of our lifetime, climate change. And by setting these standards, we can actually speed up our transition to a cleaner, safer future. The ambitious plan seeks to curb emissions on coal-fired power plants and to drive more investment in clean energy technology. The end goal seeks to cut 32 percent of America's power plant CO2 emissions based on the total power plant emissions recorded in 2005. So who are the winners and losers in this new energy landscape? The first winner in the battle is clean energy technology, such as solar and wind. The final rule calls for the nation to get 28 percent of its electricity from renewable resources by 2030, versus roughly 13 percent last year. The president seeks to fast-track permitting processes for renewable energy permits, allowing clean energy to be developed and implemented faster. Nuclear energy could get a boost as well. The loser in this battle is the coal industry, which will see consumption drop 23 percent by 2020, according to analysis at Stanford C. Bernstein, as power plants shift to other cleaner fuels. Also, utilities worry about the cost of quickly retiring coal plants and overhauling the way they generate power. Any higher costs the companies incur could be passed on to the consumers. In terms of customers, the relative winners are those already living in areas that use lots of clean energy, such as California and New York. Citizens in the Midwest and South may see a larger increase in their energy bill as they rely heavily on the burning of fossil fuels for electricity. The battle that is yet to be decided is that of politics. President Obama has come out strongly in favor of the new regulations, but it is yet to be seen if Democrats will enthusiastically back him up. The issue of carbon emissions and climate change will inevitably be dragged into the 2016 presidential election.